Hello and welcome back to the Sports News. Right now, we're very happy to welcome back Coach Arado from Madison East. Steve, thanks for joining us here again. Thanks for having me. I appreciate it. So you guys have the playoffs going forward, but quick, give us a recap of the season. How did you guys end up? Uh, four and five. Um, struggled a little bit towards the end of the season. Um, losing our quarterback, I think in week two, we've kind of been shuffling pieces, putting them together. So we've just kind of find our groove and find our niche, and we struggled a little bit. But uh, be four and five and be in the playoffs is it's pretty exciting for our program. It hasn't happened in 11 years, so we're excited to be in. And the fact that you made the playoffs with all the injuries and things like that we've talked about before is a testament to you and your guys able to kind of stay strong all season. Yeah, a pretty resilient group. We have good, good kids, high character kids. We've talked about that before in the past and they just don't give up. Um, they're really excited. You know, we talked to them Friday, even though we lost, we talked about we think we're still in and they were excited about that. So we're looking forward to going to practice this week. Now, we understand you have number one seed Oconomowoc coming up this week. Talk to us a little bit about that team and what you're expecting. Yeah, they're, they're good, 9-0. Um, you know, won their league outright at 9-0 and, and a lot of talent, um, real high octane offense. They average 38 points a game. I think the quarterback's thrown for about 3,000 yards and 30 touchdowns. They've got a couple big play receivers. Um, but you, know, you, you never know what can happen. We've got a good team too, and we think you know, there's some stuff that they give us that we got to take advantage of. But they're a good football team, good program, so we're looking forward to going down there and playing them. And the conference is very well represented in the playoffs this year. A lot of Madison teams making it in. Yeah, I think it says a lot about our league. Seven teams get in. It's a pretty competitive conference, um, top to bottom, and, and to get seven teams in. Three from the Madison area is pretty special, too. So we've got a good league, and it's unfortunate that we do have to play each other a lot in the playoffs, and, and probably you know a couple teams are getting knocked out right away because they play each other. Whether that's fair or not, I don't know, but I think our league is pretty strong, and it's a testament to our league that seven teams got in. Now, what are some of the bright moments from this year? We know it was kind of a struggle finishing at four and five and dealing with the injuries, but you guys also had some really big moments too. Yeah, I think the big one people talked about is back to Breeze. Being at our own stadium was, was, was great. Um, starting the season off 2-0 for the first time in a long time in our, in our school's history. Um, some bright spots, single players like Dale Teagams, about 950 yards receiving and 14 touchdowns. Um, having to play three quarterbacks has been pretty fun, I guess. Um, I'm going to do Daffs, rush for about 1,200 yards too. So we've been doing some really good things and getting better each week. So it's been a really fun season, you know, to look at and play, to play and compete. And, you know, to be 1-26 in going into this year, my first three years to go to 4-5 and five in the playoffs is pretty special for us. Now, we obviously hope it doesn't come too soon, but eventually the offseason will be upon us. Any plans, any, any opportunity to maybe get out there and get away from football a little bit? Yeah, I think I'm going to sleep for about a month, maybe. <laughs> uh, no, I, we, we take about a month off as a staff, and then we start weight training in December, and then we, we go from there and, and, and try to get our, our, our feet back under us after a month off and then get the kids back in the weight room from December all the way through June. So it's, it's a grind, but we'll take a month off and, and relax. Well, we're hoping that vacation doesn't come too soon. We want to wish you and your team the best of luck in the playoffs, especially this week against Oconomowoc. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. From Madison East, Coach Steve Arado will be back with more of the sports news in just a moment.